Today's topics from Reuters breaking views, Bernanke's Asian defences and implausible yarn, and RBS's branch sales snafu merits Brussels sympathy with me as Robert Cole. Let, let's kick off, Robert, with RBS. Um, you think it merits sympathy because of the precedent that was set with, uh, was it Commerzbank? Yeah, the, the, being allowed more time. Yeah, there, there, are, there are two things at, at work here, or two or three things actually. The first is I think we have to recognise that while, you know, it's technological problems, IT problems that seem to have got uh, Santander out of the picture here, I can't help but feeling that, you know, given the way that the UK and Spanish, particularly Spanish economies have gone downhill recently, you know, the kind of um, uh, whole, the atmosphere, the environment has changed. And, and, but, and that makes you feel sorry for RBS, doesn't well, it? Well, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's I'm sorry, it's, I don't buy it. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. I'm, I know, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, I think, I think you can, it, it, it's, it's unlucky for, for RBS, you know, this wouldn't have fallen through. Or, I, I suspect that there was a much uh, greater chance of it going through if the econ economics had uh, had stacked up. Um, no, so but the, the Brussels, I think, uh, sympathy should rest on on two two things, and not really either, uh, not really that, nor indeed uh, feeling sorry for RBS in itself. The first is that there is some precedent mm. uh, for um, uh, uh, relaxing and or taking out Bank ING. You know, so yeah. Yeah, so there is a there is a precedent there. I'm not sure that that's. Uh, I mean, more importantly, it seems to me from the EU's point of view, is for them to consider that what they want here, what they're trying to do, what they've been trying to do since the beginning, is to increase competition. So what they want is a. Uh, a um, an agreement, a mechanism, which is going to increase competition. And by rushing it through, um, then I don't quite see how that aim of increasing competition is enhanced. In extremis, a Royal Bank of Scotland may say, well, we can't find a bidder, we can't find anyone to buy it, you know, we'll just have to close the branches or something, yeah, you know. Yeah, so yeah. the competition won't be enhanced. But by giving it some time uh, to get a decent price, then eventually, you know, we might might be better off. I mean, having said that, I mean, Virgin looks as if it might want to do the deal and uh, might uh, be a better competitor. And Jason Fowles uh, is interested as well, right? So it might, it might not take okay. all that much time. Either. Okay. Um, the other piece uh, is Bernanke in Asia and this comment he made um, on QE, which you strongly disagree with. Yeah. Um, it's Andy Mukherjee, our new... Um, he's based in Singapore, actually. A uh, very bright, bright, bright man. And uh, he's taking on the world's most powerful economist. Uh, good for him. And it's a, it's a simple point, really, that Bernanke has said, look, you know, everyone's talking about QE is in terms of uh, raising asset prices uh, in, in, emerging, in emerging markets. And that, uh, well, he doesn't say that isn't the case, but he says don't overplay it. Mm. And Andy's simply saying that he thinks, um, I mean, Bernanke's point, I think, is that, you know, actually it's uh, a stimulation of demand in the West that has led to... Um, uh, uh, asset uh, price inflation in emerging markets and, you know, emerging markets looking more attractive vis-a-vis -vis Western economies because of the economic problems they have. And Andy's just saying that that, that just doesn't stack up for him. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, for good reasons or ill, Bernanke's and other QE programmes have been raising asset prices. And to that to, to be fair, Bernanke also said a, 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 a depression in, in the US would probably be worse for these markets, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, it, it's also a question, I think, of, you know, I mean, just, just one wonders, you know, how much politics it really beholdens uh, leading economic uh, uh, figures to get involved with. And you can't help feeling that, you know, there's some sort of geopolitics going on here when, you know, stick to the pointy head stuff, Mr Bernanke, please. All right. You heard it here first. Thanks a lot, Robert. Robert Cole, if you want to watch our US show, uh, that comes on every day, 12.30 Eastern, 17.30 BST. I'm Axel Throffel. This is Reuters.